everyone and welcome to um, Puerto Rico Virtual Basketball Coaches Clinic. Buenas noches a todos. Bienvenidos al Puerto Rico Virtual Basketball Coaches Clinic. En la de noche de hoy eh, tenemos a, al señor nuevamente, al señor Ryan Panón. Ryan es el head coach de la NBA G League para Erie Bayhawks. Eh, el co-creador del de Basketball HQ.com eh, trabaja como parte del staff de la liga de verano de los eh, New Orleans Pelicans y eh, también tiene eh, un, un training center de player development en Florida. Um, Ryan, welcome again. Uh, for us, it's a pleasure to have you um, join us once again in this project of ours. Um, and sharing your knowledge and sharing a little bit of time with us. Um, today, we're going to be talking about the art of rebounding, which is sometimes something that we, you know, don't, don't practice all the time or, or sometimes we overlook. And I'm glad that, that you're touching that subject today. Um, le vamos a recordar a, a todos que, por favor, si tienen alguna preguntita, que, por favor, eh, obviamente, eh, nos las hagan por el Q&A para así poder corresponder las la preguntas necesarias. Ryan, the, the ball is on your court. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Obviously, I, I have a, a unique background uh, from coaching at very high levels uh, with teams in terms of the MBG League, uh, the European Champions League, China. Uh, obviously, the basketball in China is so so, but the quality of the imports is high. But I also have uh, experience of working with over 60 different NBA players. And so what I'll be speaking on tonight is different ways to develop and improve players as individual rebounders through player development. And so these will be some of the drills that we've done with the various NBA players that we have. But I'll, I'll also explain how you use it uh, in terms of your your individual development as a team. And so when I went back to Hapol, Jerusalem last year, uh, as we were constructing the team, our, our biggest concerns were defense and rebounding uh, because we signed a bunch of bigs that weren't historically great rebounders. And I was in charge of player development, and I – really believed that I could help improve these players as individual rebounders through what I'd done with our NBA workouts. And uh, very first to start, one of the big target goals was a player named Josh Owens. Josh uh, was, a, was a strong, mobile, athletic big that was not a very good rebounder. And so What we broke down is this. If you want to improve your players as rebounders, okay, number one, there has to be a little bit of a fuck you and a want to about you, right? You, you've got to have that mentality. Two, there's skill that goes into the rebound. It's not just go get it. It's not just the longest, most athletic guy on the floor uh, can be the best rebounder. There are different skill techniques for what you can do with your players to help develop them. So with Josh Owens, what I did was I went through and looked at the best rebounder in the EuroLeague the season before. And it wasn't the most athletic guy, wasn't the longest guy. And I broke down into different segments for him, skills that he needed to focus on from a rebounding standpoint. And so I'll, I'll share my video with you for what the drills are and, and what we worked on. Uh, okay, so this is uh, – can everyone see my screen? Is that clear? Yeah, you're good there. I can see it, yeah. Coach? Yep, yeah, we can see it. All right. So this, these were the numbers of, of our big guys. Okay, as, as you can see, their improvement, Josh Owens – Right from 2017-18 to, to 2018-19, he almost doubled his rebounds per minute. Uh, and in the, at the Euro Cup Champions League, he did in the domestic league, he almost did. Okay, so he was our biggest improvement. 
a player, and I'll let this play, and you can kind of see the, the various improvements. Tayshawn Thomas, okay, same thing, made notable improvements in his rebounding per minutes. Okay, even Amari Stoudemire, right, who's been an NBA, been an NBA All-Star. And as he's older, he improved his rebound, and as he got older in terms of rebounds per minute. And so when you're talking about rebounding, especially from the individual standpoint, your goal for your players is this. To be an elite rebounder, they want to average one rebound every three minutes. And so each player individually is motivated from different standpoints, right? You have some players that are motivated. Their motivation to improve is to make the most money. Other players, it's to play at the highest level. For other guys on your team, it's to gain more minutes or to become a starter. And so I think selling your players on the value of rebounding, the mentality of rebounding, and the skill work that goes into it is really important. So these are the skill sets that I broke down with our players and some of the videos and some of the drills that I used to work with them on. Okay, so number one, this is the fuck you and want to about you. So I, I've got clips of Jack Sick, uh, Luke Sigma. Luke Sigma plays for Alba Berlin in the EuroLeague. He's not the tallest. He's not the longest. He's not the most athletic guy. Okay, but what he does is he wants to go get it. And so these are some clips of out of transition. Okay. Just Ryan, him chasing after it, right? And so to a – Yes. I apologize. I, it it looks a little grainy from this side. No, sh I, I, it just you, you, you it, it, it sounds like you're in a low because you're. It, it, we can hear you, but you're frozen. I'm frozen. Okay, hold on. Let me exit out of the screen share and get back into it. Now Am I still good. frozen? No, you're not okay. frozen anymore. Uh, screen share. Oh, that's good. Uh, sorry, let me. Now I gotta open it back up. One no, second. You're good. Okay, so as I said, you'll see here Luke Sigma, okay, who's right here, if you can see uh, the screen share. He's not the tallest, most athletic guy, number 43. But what he does is he goes after everything. And two elite rebounders, every shot, okay, is a miss, right? So oftentimes I'll tell him, to a hammer, everything's a nail. To an elite rebounder, every shot that goes up is a miss. You have to go after everything. So the number one, the first thing that we want to work on with our guys to improve individually as rebounders is what I call early effort, okay? So here you'll see clips. Okay, look at number 43. He's going over to set the side pick and roll. Shot goes up, and as he's in his shooting motion, what you'll see here is he's gone. So you want to go ahead and take off when players are in their shooting motion and go and race to the rim. You don't want to wait until the ball is released. You don't want to wait till the ball hits the rim. At the end of the day, the first one to the ball is going to get the rebound. And so you want to start with early effort. In the NBA, Kevin Love is elite at this. When I was working with Ed Davis full time, he was a great defensive rebounder. So one thing I showed him was clips of Kevin Love he would always do early effort. Now, one out of every 20 possessions, your player is going to have early effort and the guard is going to hit him in the back of the head with the pass. You live with that. And so as you can see here, he's already started his effort to go to the boards before he could be boxed out. Same thing. Shots getting ready. And a big part of this is anticipation. And you want to build your guys into having that early effort. Here you can see 43 is on the wing. On the left wing, 
He's anticipating that shot, already going in for the rebound. Okay, now he's at the top of the key. And you can see him flying in before anyone has the chance to box him out. And so as I was working with Josh, and I'll show you some of the clips of the drills that we did throughout practice after showing them, I would yell at him early, 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 just so he developed the mindset to get in there and offensive rebound before anyone had the chance to box him out. Okay, now these are clips of my team. So here you can see Chris Johnson. He's in the corner, early effort, offensive rebound. Okay, here you can see Deshaun Butler, right spotlight on him. Shots already going up. He's anticipating getting inside position for the rebound. Okay, same thing. Watch from the corner now, from the left corner. Early effort to chase it down. And so this is a skill that can be drilled. Okay, so now here's just a simple clip, okay? Now, as you guys are watching all these clips, just so you know, this was after a two-a-day. These were some of the drills uh, FIBA Champions League wanted. We were leading the, the Champions League in offensive rebounds and overall rebounds, so they wanted to see some of the drills that we were doing, so they filmed this. Okay, this is after practice, so the guys are a little bit tired, but – you can get the idea, right? So ideally, this is a coach. Uh, our player with the pad doesn't provide enough resistance, right? But ideally, it's a coach that's going to provide more resistance. And you're just giving them a little bit of effort to try to sprint around, just to have that early effort. And so what I want is as I've started my shooting motion, he's already making his effort to get around it. And ideally, as you're shooting it, you're forcing the ball to hit the rim. That way it pops up. Ryan, I apologize. Okay, so all but of these are Sorry, Ryan, you're, you're freezing, and yep. the, the video is one step behind us. Like, we're just seeing the, the drill okay. with the pad. Okay. Uh, what, what would you like me to do? Uh, you want to you wanna go out and come back again, and, and that sure. way try to fix the problem? Yep. I'll, I'll we'll talk in this side with 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 everyone while you do that. En lo que Ryan eh, se desconecta y vuelve a conectarse para así eh, poder eh, tratar de de arreglar el problema que estamos teniendo. Eh, obviamente, pues la tecnología es buenísima, nos ayuda a muchas cosas, pues, pero a veces está, confiamos en ella y en estos momentos, pues. Eh, tenemos un poquito de, de, de dificultad, él eh, está tratando de arreglarlo, pero el momento, eh, eh, por el momento él sí, eh, lo que puedo decir es que él sí eh, compartió que el, que el arte de rebotear no es tan solo el, el, el tú tener una habilidad, pero, tam, pero también es el tener el deseo, eh, el deseo, la actitud, eh, es bien importante eh, en, ese momen, en ese momento. ¿Cómo puedes eh, tú como jugador eh, adelantarte a lo que va a pasar y poder estar un paso adelante de, de la situación para así entonces ser un poquito más exitoso en, en lo del rebote? Ryan, we're here. Okay. You show my site with like a network low. That that might be part of the why why it's lagging a little. Okay. Uh, should I try to screen share again? But, uh, yeah, let's try that. Okay, so yep. this is this is the drill yep. that that we yep. do for early effort. Can you see it? We can see it. 
Okay, so basically what I want is the player to start his effort as I'm in my shooting motion, okay? And ideally there's a little bit more resistance there, but we work on going to the middle and to the outside on this drill. And typically I'm shooting from different spots on the floor to force the ball to come off the rim different ways so he can anticipate it. Okay, so that's, that's the purpose of the drill. And I would do some form of rebounding drills with our big guys every day. So here I, I happen to bank in a few. Uh, but this is – I did different rebounding drills with our players every day uh, just to try to get them to develop the mindset, the habit, the skills. Okay? Next is out of area. So it's really important, right, is – Elite rebounders are out of area rebounders. And it's important mindset that they have that mentality to get out of their area and go get it. Okay, so here you'll see just on the free throw, Luke Sigma is on the right side. Okay, he just gets out of his area to go get it. And that's the same thing that you've got to have that mentality, right? And oftentimes you see big guys are just in area rebounders, right? You really want to develop guys as out of area rebounders. Go get it. Okay. Another thing that we talk about with rebounding, okay? Most players, most players are not extension rebounders. So what I mean is this that they catch with their arms bent, they rebound with their arms bent. So we want to develop rebounders as extension rebounds. Their arms are fully extended and one arm rebounds. So Josh Owens would tell me he was taught in college to, to rebound everything with two hands. And I told him, I said, if you look at every elite rebounder, they are one hand rebounds, rebounders and they're extension arm rebounders. So this is a drill we do for out of area rebounding. So we have them slide, okay, Slide lane line to lane line. And what my goal is, is when he touches one lane line, I throw it off the other side of the backboard to force him to go get out of his area and try to extension catch. So here you can see him. He's going side to side. When he gets close to one side, I try to throw it. And this is what I want. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to catch Yeah, it, it's getting to us now. The, the, the drill is getting to us now. Okay. Okay, so... That's the goal, and this is what I want. You'll see here, might be a little bit behind how he misses it. Hits him in the left hand and he misses that. And that's what I'm trying to drill, him getting the habit of getting out of the area, but also catching with one hand and extension catches. So we work on high rebounds, okay, and then wide rebounds. We want him to train hands high, hands wide. Okay, next is extension catches. So what I talked about, this is one way that we drill it, and this is what we're looking at drilling. So watch 43. Okay, flies in, early effort, perfect. Now watch how he catches it with his arm fully extended out. So there you can see his right hand is fully extended. He's able to control it and bring it into two hands. Same thing, watch 43. Okay, early effort. Okay, now watch him. His right hand is fully extended behind him. He's able to snatch it and bring it in. That's elite rebounding. Most big guys cannot do that. They can't make one-handed extended catches. So there, look at his left hand. Fully extended, able to catch with one hand and bring it in. Okay, same thing, left-handed, fully extended, can catch it and bring it in. And now you'll see some clips of our team, right? So watch 22 here, fully extended with his right hand behind him, catch it and bring it in. And this is a skill, you have to drill this, right? It's like shooting, it's like ball handling, it's like passing. You have to drill these extension catches. Ryan, we... We might need to 
log you out and try to log you back into the meeting because it's it's it's, it's graining. Okay. So if you can probably exit the meeting and then come back in, it, it probably will, will help to solve the problem. I will try. I appreciate it. No problem. Lo que estamos haciendo es tratar, eh, sé que pues, en todos lados, porque lo está, en el mío también lo estamos viendo un poquito eh, rezagado. Eh, obviamente volvemos a lo mismo, estamos dependiendo de la tecnología, estamos en diferentes áreas. Él va a volver a entrar eh, para así poder ver si podemos resolver. Hello. Yep. Now we're good. Actually, I, I, we, we see you much better now. Okay. Yeah. There we go. I'll, I'll rewind. Yeah. Of better? Yeah, much better. I, I'll rewind uh, the portion of extension catches. Perfect. Okay, so here, like I said, you'll see 43 and something that you want to drill. And this is idea right there. Can you see that clear? Yeah, yeah. It goes on and on, but yeah, it, it looks clear there. Okay, so we want to drill extension catches to become an elite rebounder. You can see his right hand is fully extended, and he's able to snatch it and bring it in. Like I said, most players, they rebound like this, everything to the side like this. They can't fully extend their arm and catch it with one hand. And it this is a skill you can improve your players with. So same thing, you'll see here, and you'll see right hand, he's able to snatch it. Okay, now you'll see left hand. Fully extended left hand catch. Same thing, fully extended left hand catch. So here's some clips of our team, number 22, fully extended behind him. And this was something, this is Josh Owens, who basically doubled his rebounds per minute. This was not something he could do. It, he tried to rebound everything with two hands, with short arms. And so we really drilled one hand extension catch rebounding. Okay, here you'll see from the baseline, same thing, extension, left-hand catch. Okay, same thing, extension, catch, that's with our guard. But we did this, guards, bigs, wings, everyone. We felt rebounding was a big key for our success. Okay, so here's how we drill it. And this is a good warm-up drill. This is something you can do at the beginning of practice with your players, okay? And you can mix in various finishes with this. So if you have a coach with a pad, you can kind of lock them in. But basically what my goal is this, is to throw it off the backboard and force it to where he's got a one-hand catch it. And ideally, it's a little bit wider. Okay, so there it's a little bit wider. His arm is bent. Ideally, it's, it's more fully extended. And that's how we drill it, right there. And we practice it. And it's a good warm-up drill. You don't have to be too loose to do it. It's all about extension catches. And then, as I said, to get them advanced, you can have them work on different finishes, weak hand, strong hand. Then you can also work on the contact finishing portion of being able to catch it, have a coach there with a the pad, and then have them try to finish on you. Coach, uh, do you do you ask them to try to catch the ball in the highest point? Yes. So we want to catch it at its peak, okay? At its peak with our arm fully extended, ideally here. If we can't, we want to be able to catch it out here. I'm going to translate that for a second. Yo le acabo de preguntar que si cuando estamos trabajando, el, el, obviamente el drill, o los ejercicios que vamos a hacer, si le pedimos a nuestros jugadores que traten de coger el balón en, en, en la posición más alta, en el pico de, del rebote, cuando ya la bola, antes que la bola comience a descender, 
la vamos a tratar de, eh, le vamos a enseñar que debemos cogerla ahí arriba completamente extendidos. Thank you, coach. No problem. And so I, I think this is one of the most important things in improving your rebounders. Okay, so we work both sides of it. Same thing, extension catch. As you can see, it's, it's just a good warm-up drill. That wasn't a very good one. You want every rebound to be like that on this drill. So you're, you're trying to hit it towards the side, and you want it to be like that. Every time in this drill, that's your goal is you're doing it to develop that catch. Okay, next skill is tap outs. And so we try to teach our bigs, what do you do if you don't have position? What do you do if you can't get it? If a guy's doing a good job boxing you out or if he just has outside possession, we want to think of Dennis Rodman where he's running down the floor and he's just tapping it to himself. We drill that. This is a, a skill that you'll see once again with Luke Sigma. okay, Watch number 43, early effort. He's down here by the baseline, left baseline. He's already flying in. He gets it. He can't get it. He's surrounded by people, taps it up, goes, gets it. And what we want in this is to try to jump at its peak. If you can't get it, tip it to an area of yourself and then try to jump as high as you can on the second jump. So you'll see a few more clips. Okay, watch, he's in the left corner, can't get it, tips it up to himself. Offensive rebound, can't get it, guys box him out, tips it up to himself, and goes up. And this is, you'll see this in the drill that we do, but this is textbook. Tips it up, watch how quick his second jump is, fully arms extended, snatching it. Okay, same thing. Now he's at about the free throw line, early effort, tips it out to himself. Okay, here's some clips of our players. Defensive rebounding, can't get it. You'll see him tips it at its peak up to an area he can go get it. And that's kind of the goal of it. You want to tip it to an area where you can go get it. So here it's crowded. He tips it up to himself, snatches it. So this is the drill for it. And so what we want in the teaching points of this drill is to jump, tip it at its peak so his arm is fully extended to an area where he knows no one else is. Now he's got to have a quick second jump, catch it with two arms extended. So there you can see both arms are extended. And then we get into finishing. Same thing. Good way to add contact. Have a coach with a the pad there. You can vary the finishes of the players. But we work on right hand and left hand tip outs. Okay, next one is quick hands. So this is also a very good warm up drill. So how many times have you seen guys, number one, these are great drills to develop a player's hands so they can catch passes from guards, pick and roll passes, pocket passes, lob passes, bullet passes, post entry passes. But how many times have you seen a rebound come off really quick? It hits the front of the rim, hits the backboard, it comes off, and it hits the players in the hands and they're not ready to catch it and they miss it. Or it hits them square in the hands and they lose control of it. Okay, so this is what I call quick hand rebounding. Here you'll see the ball comes off the front of the rim very quick and he's able to get his hand on it and secure it. Oftentimes, players bobble this, right? Same thing. It comes off the front of the rim pretty quick, almost like an extension catch. Comes off the rim quick. He's able to catch it, bring it to himself. So here you'll see some clips of our team. Ball comes off that rim quick, and here you see bobbles it, right? Just happens to hit the bottom of the rim. And that's what we call quick cans. Same thing, watch the way it comes off the rim. Comes off quick, and he missed it. And so this is a perfect example, and we showed it to him because we drilled this. Comes off quick, he's not expecting it, hits him in the hand, he lost control of it. So same thing, what we want starting out 
okay, is their toes, their feet inside the circle. You see the white circle there. And so I'm throwing it off the bottom of the backboard as hard, as quick as I can. And I'm trying to make him catch it. And so we do it with two hands. And the goal is to try to get him to catch it as quick as he can, but sometimes have it to where it's behind his head. So he's got to be able to catch it from here. And so now if you want to really challenge him, you have him scoot in, same drill, quick hands. And you see there, this is a perfect example of him being able to catch it when it's behind his head. It came off so hard so quick, he's got to be able to control it and bring it in. And so your players will want to try to scooch out, right? And so you want to keep them inside that white circle. And so we'll drill that with two hands and one hand. Okay, so same thing. Comes off the front of the rim, quick hand catch, control. Comes off, right, because it's a block shot. Bang, he's got to be able to catch with one hand and bring it in. So now we drill it with one hand. Same theory. We want starting out their toes on the white line. And then as they get good, we want to move them inside the white circle. And we drill this left hand and right hand. And this is a very, very good catching drill. It's a very good drill to develop their hands. It's a good warm-up drill. Same thing. Guys don't have to be too loose to do this. But it's all they've got to do, everything one-handed. Next skill that we drill and work on are what I call get-arounds, right? So when a guy is boxing you out, okay, he's trying to box you out, you just got to make a move and get around him. Don't settle for it. Don't let him box you out. If you watch tape of your players, how many times the moment somebody touches them, put a body on them, boxes them out, they stop pursuing. They make zero effort to get around and go get the ball. And so that's what we try to drill here. And it seems very simple, but most players, the moment someone touches them, they stop making that effort. So now watch Luke Sigma. He's at the free throw line. Bang. And we work on these different jukes, different ways to set them up, plant your foot, okay, making that effort to go get around them. Coach, you, you made a comment there that, that I think that people, I'm gonna, I want people to, to listen in, in Spanish if they're not getting it, is that um, you teach them that when there is a contact, you don't give up, okay? You, as, as a matter of fact, it's like, it's like turning on the switch. You just keep pursuing it. Um, it's, is, that, is that how you, how you, how you express, to your, yeah. express that to your players? Yeah, you, you'll see – a lot of players that aren't good rebounders, the moment somebody makes contact with them, the moment somebody touches them, they just stop. They give up on the play instead of making that effort to get around and go get it. So even in practice, like I would anticipate this stuff with our players and I would yell out, get around, get around, get around before it even happens. So they're thinking about swimming, juking, getting around. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that in Spanish. Yo, él hizo un comentario al principio de, de esta serie en el que él dice que a veces nuestros jugadores en cuanto eh, op, eh, tienen el contacto de, del jugador op, opuesto paran de pelear el, el ir al, re, al rebote y es, lo, y es lo contrario es como como prender el, eh, eh, como prender el switch si, 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 si ya tienen el contacto ahí es que tienes que empezar a, 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 a el esfuerzo, el esfuerzo más posible de poder obtener el, el trofeo que viene siendo el balón, el, el balón. Um, I have a quick question um, here that says, um, when, uh, do you have an age that you should start um, teaching this? Like, do you, do you have a, an age that you start recommend oh, I, for yeah. us to start teaching these drills? Yeah, I, I would teach it from a young age. I was a high school coach, so I coached 13, 14, 15, 16, 18 year olds. I would teach it all the way up because the more they do it, especially big guys, right? How many big guys that are 13, they can't catch, 
right? They're, they're not very mobile. These are great drills to work on catching, okay? One hand, two hand extension catches and building the habit of moving and catching. So not just catching, standing still, they have to go get it, catch, extend it. Um, la, eh, la pregunta que le acabo de hacer es que eh, a qué edad él recomendaba que podíamos eh, comenzar a hacer estos drills, estos esto movimientos con nuestros jugadores de, eh, cuando estamos desarrollando nuestros jugadores. Y la contestación es que, que desde, desde una temprana edad, lo más que tú puedas eh, inculcar en ellos eh, esto, pues lo más eh, va a ser común, eh, va a ser eh, memoria muscular para ellos. Eh, So, que yo, él recomienda, nuevamente, lo más que lo haces, para ellos va a ser más cómodo eh, continuar haciéndolo. Thank you, coach. No problem. Okay, so here, same thing. You see him trying to box out. Okay, boxing out on the baseline. He makes that contact. He gets around them. Right? It, it, and it's all very simple concepts. Watch. You'll see 22 on the baseline, Josh Owens. Boxing him out, bang, get around to go get it. Same thing on the baseline, getting around them, creating leverage, wedging them down to go get it. Okay, same thing, watch 22, gets around them. Now, obviously, it's on the free throw. Okay, here you'll see him, creates contact, doesn't stop pursuing. Okay, and so we will drill this from all different angles. So like here, this would be, say like, uh, obviously when a player is down on a baseline, it could also be a free throw situation. But I'll drill this where I shoot from the baseline, from the wing, from the top. They've got to get around, go to the middle, to the baseline, different situations. So same thing, it's, it's just the mentality, a little bit of contact, bang, make your move, go get it. And so we do it going middle, going baseline side, all the above. So there's the baseline, which you saw some clips of, some game clips of Sigma and our team, All right? Ideally, you're, you're making it miss correctly, user error. But ideally, it's hitting the rim, so it's got time to pop up. Okay, next concept that we teach is what happens when you're already in the paint and you can't really get around to go get it. And so we'll teach guys to just take their man, put their forearm in their, in their back, use their upper thigh, and drive them deeper into the paint. And we'll call wedge, wedge, wedge. And so same thing in practice. I'll do these skill development drills, but when we're in live scrimmaging, I'll anticipate the rebounders when I was an assistant coach and, and I had my bigs. And when a shot would go up and they'd be in the paint, I'd yell it out for them, wedge, 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 until they thought about it. it had to become a mentality. Okay, so here you can see, right, he's wedging them. Obviously here it's a switch. But he's just wedging his guy under the baseline to take him out of rebounding position. Now it's on the free throw. If you watch him, he just drives him underneath the hoop to give himself leverage to get the ball. Okay, look at him on the left block, right? He can't really get around him, so he's just pushing him deeper under the baseline. Okay, same thing. Now he's on the right block, just gets into his back and just nudges him to the rim. Same thing. Right now he's kind of under the rim and he pushes him out a little bit. And so that's a really good 
drill to do, and I, I don't have video of it, but the way to drill it is you just have the coach, same thing, starting out. You just have the coach there with the pad, shot goes up, and he's got to drive you under. And these are different concepts, right? It, it's, all, it's all the same mentality of rebounding, but these are different concepts and skills that go into rebounding, right? Most coaches will tell me, well, you know, you can't really make a guy a better rebounder. You know, it's hard to improve a player as a rebounder. And I can tell you, from the NBA to the Euro League, the Euro Cup to high school, you can improve an individual player's rebounding, even if they're not the most athletic guy. And we can think of guards that are great rebounders, right? Jason Kidd, great rebounder. Rondo, great guard rebounder. There's great Wheaton rebounders, great fours that are rebounders. And it's giving them the skills – to understand the different ways to secure the rebounds. And so another thing that we teach our guys, if you can't get it, don't let your man get it. So we'll tell them, like, let's say it's a 6'8 guy against a 7-footer. You might not be able to get the rebound, but you got to slap it out, slap it away from them. And same thing, these are concepts we work on, right? Now he's trying to wedge them under, can't get it, he just slaps it back. And in the NBA, they credit that player with the rebound. Obviously, and internationally, it just kind of depends on who's, who's securing the rebounds. But that's one way I sold our bigs. I was like, hey, man, like, we told our statisticians that that counts as a rebound for them. We explained it to them. And so we sold it on our big. I was like, if you can't get it, just slap it out because it still counts as your rebound. And so that's, those are the different ways that we, that we drill it and we build the individual rebounder. And I think it's something that you can do. You can do in the different types of practices. It can be done the day of the game in your skill workout. You can do the extension catch rebounder, the quick hand rebound, right? Because those are low impact rebounding drills. If you want to get a guy really going, you can get him doing the out-of-area rebounds, the early effort rebounds. There's a lot of movement there, a lot of contact. But if you want to develop an individual rebounder, you've got to do some type of skill rebounding drill with them every day because it's a mindset. And that's what I sold Josh Owens on. I told him, we're going to do rebounding every single day, whether it's five minutes, 15 minutes, Okay, before or after practice, we are doing it every day, right? We're going to talk about it every practice. And then you got to hold them accountable with individual film. I showed all of our bigs their individual film after every game, and I showed them every clip that they did not make an effort to go for the rebound. And I broke it down into those segments. Hey, these are the times you missed the early effort offensive rebound clips. These are the times you miss the wedges. This is the time you miss the extension catch. This is the time that you miss the get around. And so I would segment it in the video so I could show them seven clips in a row. Hey, you didn't even make your early effort. And I would tell them, look, just because you make the effort doesn't mean you're going to get it. But if you don't make the effort, you're definitely not going to get it. And then what ended up happening for our players is we would get some loose ball fouls. So next thing you know, they'd get some free throw attempts. And I would just tell them, guys, look, rebounding, especially offensive rebounding, is the third highest points per possession play in the game. Transition and cutting are one and two. This is third. So now, this is how you can improve your rebounding. You can score more points. You can get more assists. You can draw more fouls. This is how you make yourself more valuable to every team because – Every team needs a rebounder. Every coach, if you, we all know, right, if your leading rebounder, he's playing. Your second leading rebounder, he's playing. Those guys aren't sitting on the bench. And that's how I'd sell them and drill it and give them a niche. This is your way on the floor. This is your way to make more money. And what I did with Josh specifically is because obviously the NBA contracts are easier, I broke down – Every rebounder in the NBA that averaged over one rebound per uh, three minutes and what their salary was, right? And their salary 
was over $12 million a year that weren't on rookie contracts. And you had guys that weren't scoring anything. All they did was rebound, and they are getting paid. Rebounding translates to money. Rebounding translates to getting to the higher level. If you watch and you break it down, and I showed our players, the, the, the guys, the previous year I went to Eurobasket. I said, this guy led his league in rebounding in Poland. Now look where he's at. Every time those guys are moving up a level in league and they're increasing their pay. And that's what I sold them on. That's how I drilled it. I held them accountable with video after every game. And I didn't show them three times where they didn't do it. I showed them every time. If there were 20 times they didn't do it, I showed them all 20 to beat it into their head. Um, coach, I think that's a great message. I think that our coach, I'm going to say it in Spanish in a second, but, um, you know, sometimes um, in the, in the in youth level, um, you know, people just see points made and don't understand that there is more to that stat sheet that, that we that we receive. And, and I, I think you prove a good point. It's like there's other ways that a player can, can, can be part of the game and can, 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 you know, make a difference in the game. Um, yo le está diciendo, él, 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 él recomienda que usted practique eh, riles de rebote por lo menos todos los días. Obviamente, específicamente con ciertos jugadores que le ha probado a jugadores en, en, en profesionales eh, y los ha comprado con otros jugadores eh, tanto en la NBA o, o en otras ligas eh, altas de que si, si ellos se convierten en un jugador de, eh, rebotero, que hay presencia de, de, del rebote, eh, pues van a haber oportunidades con eso. Nosotros todos necesitamos, para que el juego sea exitoso, todos necesitamos un, un, un buen rebotero. Y que, y que todo lo que, que lo, lo, lo mayor que recomienda, obviamente, eh, es, que, es que es el esfuerzo. Todo comienza con el esfuerzo. Um, I was saying, like, everything starts with the effort. That, you know, that, that, early, that early effort that you yeah. put into it, correct? Yeah, and, and, you know, I would tell our players, like, you can do all these drills, but you got to have a fuck you and a want to about it to go rebound. At the end of the day, you got to have that. Now, you have that, you're going to be a pretty good rebounder. If you can master these skills that go into rebounding, you're going to be an elite rebounder, and you're going to get paid. Correct, and, and you know we we see it nowadays with with um, you know the last dance, the, uh, you know, documental. Or we saw it the other day with with, with Broadman. You 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 brought it up uh, initially. I, I I think that that was that, that he he came in to do that. That was his job mainly. You know, and, and he had that same attitude that you're, you're asking of your players. You know, I want it, I'm going to go get it. Uh, no matter what, what, what the cost of it is, correct? And, and he had the skills behind it. Like, if you watch, if you watch him rebounding, he's, he's getting the, the tip outs. He's getting the extension catches. He's getting the quick catches. He's got the early effort. He's got the wedging. He's got all those skills which for him probably became more natural, right? But I think this is a great way to develop a rebounder that is not a natural rebounder. If you look at Josh Owen's rebounding numbers from college all the way through, he has historically been a bad rebounder, historically, until that year. Um, Coach, any, any other suggestions that you have in terms of when you're working with a younger crowd? I know you mentioned that you – you work the high school level, um, starting your careers. Um, it, it, is there anything besides this that we talk about today that, that you put into, into um, what we would do with, with our high school younger level? In terms of rebounding? Correct. I, I, think, I think number one, just developing them. to They got to have the effort because – just really having the effort and the mindset to go after everything. And when they get that, now you can polish the skills, the catching, the extension catches, the quick hands. But the, I think these skills are really important, even at a young age, because it's going to improve their catching. And, and as we all know, even at the G League, 
level. Like I, I got guys that are borderline NBA players. They can't catch. I mean, the ball hits them square in the hands, and they can't catch it. And how many turnovers would you eliminate a game? You know, I, I could tell you for us, the answer was three. We could eliminate three turnovers a game if guys could catch the ball. Like a square pass, hit them in the hands. And then there's another few turnovers a game guys could eliminate if they could catch everything, extension catches. You know, and, and I, I think it's so important from so many aspects of the game to develop this skill set. So, so exactly. So it's not only going to help the player from the rebounding point of view, but like you said, quick hands, being able to catch the ball correctly. We see it a lot. You mentioned it, uh, uh, but we, we see it a lot sometimes on the youth level. Kids, you know, ball bounce off their hands, out the door we go, and then we're back playing defense because they cannot catch the ball. Um, um, yo le estaba diciendo a él que, obviamente, eh, él dice que, que no tan solo estos drills nos pueden, pueden ayudar a sus jugadores en, en, en lo que es el arte del rebote, pero también en otras facetas de, 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 del juego. A veces nos vemos eh, pues, con jugadores que no pueden ni coger un pase. Y, y estos drills también te pueden ayudar a que, a que podamos mejorar um, esa, esa, obviamente, es, 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 es otro fundamento del baloncesto. Uh, um, Ryan, I'm going to read another one that I have here. Give me a second. Uh, question. Sure. Also, just just for all the coaches, I, I put my email address in uh, in the chat. So if anyone wants this video of all the you know the players with the effort, the skill work, the drills that we're doing, just shoot me an email and uh, I'll send it over to you, no problem. That would be great. And and if you can also send it to us here, we'll make sure that that they'll also absolutely. receive it. Yes, absolutely. Um, like, is there, um, give me a second, because I, I, I need to translate it, hold on. Is there any specific characteristics besides the effort that a good rebounder should have? Uh, that, you, that you can think of? Yeah, mobility. Right, because sometimes you, you got big guys that are, that are stiff. They've got good effort, but they're not mobile, right? They can't go rebound out of their area. So, que, que, lo, que él dice que en, en, además del de lo, lo, esfuerzo, el jugador debe ser movible, que no se puede quedar pasmado en una área esperando, no. Tiene que, ser, tiene que poder, eh, poder tener el esfuerzo y, y obviamente también poder moverse eh, rápidamente. Um, so, so you compare mobile to athletic? Is that no? Is that, uh, because guys, uh, more lateral, like lateral movement, guys that can move this way. And then I would also say catching, guys that can catch everything like this, arms extended, hands high, hands wide. I think and, really developing a player's hands is very important for improving as a rebounder. Yo, yo, le, yo le pregunté que si para él el ser móvil era lo mismo que ser atlético. Él dice, no, hay una diferencia. Tú puedes ser atlético, pero a lo mejor no tiene esa virtud de movilidad lateral que es lo que usualmente se necesita para, para ser un buen rebotero. Y lo, tercer, lo tercero sería eh, eh, poder coger la bola, tener, tener buen hermano, hermano, trabajar en, 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 en tener buenas manos. Eh, para repetirlo, obviamente... Primero el esfuerzo, segundo la movilidad y la tercera parte que él, que él añade es eh, tener las la, la manos para poder hacer el catching. Um, anything else? I, I'm not sure if, I, I, if anyone will have any questions. Um, any else, anything else, Ryan, that you would like to add um, to, to this session? No, I, as I say, I, I think it's important for us as coaches because oftentimes we, we talk about player development and skill development. And I think rebounding is one of the things that is not really worked on. People work on shooting, they work on passing, they work on ball handling, they work on decision making some, but I think drilling rebound and, and this includes the, the 60 NBA players I've worked with. We mix in 
at least one rebounding drill in every skill workout with our players, whether it is a point guard or a big. And one way we try to sell the guards on rebounding is this, is the more defensive rebounds you get, the quicker you can start the break. You don't have to wait for the, for the big to outlet it to you. So now you can push it down the floor and go get buckets and assists because the ball's in your hands. And so we really try to, to emphasize to all positions the value of rebounding. Um, I'm going to say that quickly because I really like what you just said. El, 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 el no está diciendo que a veces cuando trabajamos en el desarrollo de nuestros jugadores no olvidamos eh, de la faceta del rebote. Eh, a veces no, no, nos mentalizamos tanto en el que en el tirar, en el pasar, en el driveo, en a veces hasta en decisiones de, you know, de la toma de decisiones, pero obviamos la parte del rebote. Y, y pues él, 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 él todos los años que lleva trabajando con los distintos jugadores que ha trabajado a nivel profesional, eh, siempre se encarga de poner un drill, por lo menos una, una parte tenga un drill de rebote. Y tanto, y tanto para el GAR como para mi hombre grande. ¿Por qué para el GAR? Pues obviamente si él como, como dirigente le exige al GAR que vaya a rebote y vaya a rebote específicamente defensivo, entonces le está diciendo a él que la transición de defensa ofensiva va a comenzar más rápido porque ya la bola está en la mano del GAR. La, mano no tiene, la bola no tiene que ver, de, eh, venir del, del rebotero o del hombre grande al GAR. Y entonces la transición va a ser más efectiva. Coach, um, thank you once again. I appreciate um, you know you being part of, of this of this project. Um, your willingness to to share the information, to um, to share um, to put yourself out there, and and, and, and even um, ask us if we need other people, which we're going to talk about later, you and I. But um, um, I, I I it's really appreciate that that you, your willingness, like I said to share, to keep, um, you know, helping um, other coaches keep growing in the, in the, in the sport that we love, that we, that we have a passion for, um, and continue to help our youth and our players to keep developing the right way, with the right skills, taught the right way. Um, so once again, appreciate it. Keep enjoying the weather. Um, and um, I, like I said, if you can, send that to me. I, I can minimize the amount of emails you might be getting um, because we can send oh, it straight, straight from here. And I know, you, I, I know you don't mind. I know you don't mind. Anyone can email me if they have any questions on anything. I'm, I'm happy to share anything that I have. Like, like I said, like we, 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 we are very appreciative of the relationship that we have built with you and, and, and the willingness that you have to share information with us. So um, thank you again. Um, and you know what? You, we never, we know, we don't know what's going on in the world yet. We go day by day, and we don't know if we're gonna see you again. So, I appreciate it once again. Have a good night and stay, stay healthy and, and sane, right? Um, until you. this is and good luck with with everything that 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 you have in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good night.